Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we're going to show you how to customize your autoplay in Windows 8. Um, I just did a video to help you understand how to set it up so that it's automatic because a lot of people seem to say that nothing happens when they plug in cameras, uh, USB keys, hard drives and are wondering, wondering why. So uh, the first video I did was how to make sure autoplay is turned on. This video will show you how to customize the settings so that they are adjusted to what you want to do with each devices. Go into your charms bar search on the right side of the screen or if you have that little search on the start screen and type autoplay again as I did in the other video but this time what you want is not to check for that uh, options wheel. Check for the little window here. You see a window like in a desktop and it says autoplay. This is where everything is set up. If you click here, you'll see use autoplay for all media device and devices. Make sure that little check mark is there and check what you can do. For example, removable drive says open folder to view files but you can choose what to do with each type of media. For example, if I put a check mark here, I can say with pictures, I'd like to uh, import the pictures. With videos, maybe I want to play with media player or uh, with v VLC in my case, because that's the video player that I use by default and so on. So you can really, really choose and personalize the options. I personally like to open folder to view files because that's uh, the way I like to do things in the file explorer. But a lot of people don't understand what to do when they are here. If you plug in your uh, digital camera, what's going to happen is that you have no idea what to do most of the time. So what you can do if you plug in your video, your uh, camera, it says memory card. What you can do here is say, well, I want to import photos and videos. Make sure that you can uh, choose the option. So import photos and videos, you'll click that option and say every time you plug in your camera, now it will import photos and videos. So make sure that these options are the way you want to set them up. Because, uh, for example, in a memory card in a digital camera, a lot of people don't understand the structure. Most cameras have a folder with a name or a number and they have subfolders in which the pictures are stored. It's kind of complicated for someone that's really not very tech, um, you know, that's not very technological in its computers and stuff. So by putting memory card to import photos and videos, it's going to be automatic. You won't have to, you know, go around and try to find out to work. Uh, DVDs. If you have a DVD movie, what you want to do? DVD, play DVD movie. It's probably what you want. So make sure that the right program is chosen here. It says with the Toshiba uh, disc player that I have, which is a Blu-ray. If I have a Blu-ray disc movie. Uh, audio CDs. It says audio CD. What do you do? Well, I want to have it play audio CD with media player automatically. Uh, and answer your CD, same thing. Play audio with CD. With your, a blank CD. What do you want to do? Well, I can say I wanted to uh, burn a disc with CD Burner XP. A video CD. Well, play it with VLC. Super video, same thing. VLC. Here we go. Uh, software and games. If you have a CD or something that you put in the drive, what do you do? Well, you can install or run from your media, which makes it easy. It pops up automatically. Uh, my camera, my HD camera, has its own little uh, option here. So everything is set up right. Now, if you ever mess up the settings, there's a reset all defaults button at the bottom. This will reset everything to its default of your computer if for some reason things aren't what you want. And before you exit this window, 
click save which makes sure that all the settings are saved and will now be in effect which means that everything will play like you want so hopefully for all of those that checked my videos and saw that I had autoplay for everything and say well nothing happens on my computer these are the settings this is where you need to go and make sure that the settings are on so hope you enjoy these videos and they help you if you have any comments or questions let us know maybe you have a feature of Windows 8 you'd like us to uh, post a video of let us know also uh, why not subscribe if you subscribe to our channel you'll be informed when new videos are online and hopefully you'll come back and you enjoy our videos if you have got that new Windows 8 computer you're a little lost well we've got lots of videos to help you go around Windows 8 and hopefully they help you a lot so thank you for watching bye bye